This video is going to be on finding the median of a group of numbers. Now, first of all, we need to know what median means, and I think to find that out, it would be quite useful to see the origin of the word. Median actually comes from the Latin median, or medium, you may recognize, which basically means middle. So the median is the middle number. We need to get our numbers, put them in order, and find the middle one. That's how we find the median. Let's practice that. 5, 8, 11, 2, 6, 7, and 15. Many students would tell me that 2 would be the median because it's in the middle but we haven't put the numbers in order yet, so that won't work. Let's put the numbers in order, and then finding the median will work. Here we have, if we put them in order, 2, 5, 6, 7, 8, 11, and 15. Now which one is going to be the middle number? There are three quick methods for finding this out. The first one that many students are familiar with is adding 1 to the total and then dividing by 2. So there are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 numbers. So 7 plus 1 equals 8. And 8 divided by 2 equals 4. So we find the fourth number along. Another way is simply dividing them the number of numbers straight away. There's 7 numbers. 7 divided by 2 is 3.5 and 3.5 rounds off to 4 so we found again we we're finding the fourth number perhaps the one that's easiest of all when you're dealing with numbers smaller than say 40 numbers or 50 numbers where it gets a bit too unwieldy is to cross out the smallest and cross out the biggest there's the smallest there's the biggest there's the smallest there's the biggest there's the smallest, and there's the biggest. And we're left with our fourth number, which is 7. So here, the median is 7. Let's try that with a different group of numbers. Let's make it slightly harder. How about when there's no simple middle number? For example, 32, 35, 76, 45, 54, 12, and let's do 96, 77, 19, and 30. Notice we have 10 numbers. Now, if we do that crossing out method, we'd be faced with a bit of a problem. Let's find out. Let's put the numbers in order. We have to put the numbers in order, otherwise this median lark will be a bit of a problem. 12, 32, 19, whoops, 32, I believe, um, 35, or 30, actually, 35, 45, 54, 77, always good to double check, 76, actually, 77, and 96. There we go, they're in order. Now, let's have a go at crossing them out. Let's cross out the smallest and the biggest, the smallest and the biggest, the smallest and the biggest, small, big, small. Ooh, no, can't do that. Because if we cross out the smallest, that'd be kind of unfair because the biggest will be getting. Uh, so you'd be saying that the median is 45. Whenever you're left with a pair, so one last pair of smallest and biggest, you don't cross either of them out. You see in that previous series, we were left with a single number. When we crossed smallest and biggest, smallest and biggest, smallest and biggest, we were left with 7. Here, we crossed out smallest and biggest, smallest and biggest, smallest and biggest, smallest and biggest, and we were left with two numbers. What do we do then? We don't cross any of them out. We find halfway in between those numbers. If you're not sure what halfway in between 35 and 45 is, you can do 35 
plus 45, which equals 80, and then divide 80 by 2. It's always a good way to find that the middle of two different numbers, you add them both up and then divide by 2. And so 80 divided by 2 is 40, and yes, the median number of this group of numbers would be 40. The median is 40. You might be wondering, oh, but that's not on the list. But still, it was in between the two middle numbers, the two numbers that were left over, so it is the median of this group. Okay, so you're you're kind of fine with that, okay? Put them in order, cross out biggest and smallest, and you're left with either one or two numbers, and if there's two numbers, we get halfway. But what about when there's a table of numbers? I've seen that come up. What do we do then? Here, we need to invent a question. So let's imagine we have number of email addresses. I'm just going to write e addresses or e address. And our second column is going to be frequency. Frequency just, frequency just means how many people there were that had that number. And we would have a question such as this. Find the class interval which contains the median. Let's do a few class intervals. So 0 to 1 email address. Let's say 11 people had that number. So you can see frequency is the number of people who had that group, either zero email addresses or one email address. The class interval, by the way, just means the class, the group over here. So zero to one is a class interval. Okay, our next class interval would be two to three, and that is seven people. Seven people in our survey had two to three email addresses. Four to five was three people. Six to seven is indeed two people. And finally, eight email address addresses or more. That's quite a few email addresses. So I don't know why you'd need more than eight, but there we are. There was two people, dodgy looking people, I'm just kidding, uh, who had eight or more email addresses. How would we find the class interval which contains the median? Many, many students tell me the answer to this would be 4 to 5, because it's the middle row. So the class interval is 4 to 5. That's the group which contains the median. But alas, it's not quite that simple. It's not just the middle row. We need to find out how many people took the survey and find the middle person of that group. How many people took the survey? 11 plus 7 plus 3 plus 2 plus 2 equals 25. Now if there are 25 people standing in a row, who would be the middle person? Who would be the guy standing in the middle? If you chopped off 1, 25, 2 and 24, smallest and biggest, smallest and biggest. You'd be left with 25 plus 1 equals 26, 26 divided by 2 equals 13. Or the other way of doing it, remember, was to divide by 2 straight away. So 25 divided by 2 equals 12.5, and 12.5 rounds to 13. So it's the 13th person. He is the magic median person. Where is that 13th person hiding? Well, Let's look. Person 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 is hiding in that first class interval. That 0 to 1 email addresses. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18 is hiding in this second class interval. 2 to 3 email addresses. Why did I stop at 18? Because 11 plus 7 is 18. But remember, we were looking for the 13th person. And we've found him. Person 12 and 13, 14, 15, 16, etc., were hiding in here. So person 13 was indeed hiding in this class interval of 2 to 3.